Hello and welcome to uh, Lewis's Rants today. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing this drink that I got uh, from Hope and Bargain. It's, it's called uh, it's Bundaberg Blood Orange um, drink. It's like a bit of orange aid, uh, but it's blood orange. I don't know what makes it different. Uh, yeah, so nice glass bottle to be honest. Uh, apparently it's Australian family owned so you know, it comes from Australia. I, got, I picked this up at Home Bargains, <laughs> out of all places, um, as I said earlier. I don't, th I don't think Home Bargains would get, you know, stuff like this in, to be honest. Like, stuff from Australia, especially, it's a really long way. It's funny how they've got stuff like this in, at Home Bargains. Uh, before you say anything, it, well, I did go essential shopping with my mum and I saw it. You are allowed to get, still get chocolate and drinks and stuff, you know from the shelves and you can eat when you go shopping so that's part of government guidelines so before you say anything it was for essential shopping so don't moan at me but yeah it's a, it's obviously it's, it's, it is a, it's a non-alcoholic drink because I know some people might think it's an alcoholic drink but it's not it's a uh, it's just a drink it's a regular drink I think you're a blood orange drink but, but nonetheless let's just get it Taste. Hmm. Ooh, mm, a bit zesty. A bit more sour than regular orange, blood oranges. Hmm. Well, it's a funny aftertaste, though. It's nice, yeah, it's nice, it's worth 49p, I suppose. Yeah, it looks alright. Yeah, it tastes alright, yeah. Blood orange, you know. Yeah, it comes from... This actually comes all the way from Australia. It's really weird how home parking. They're selling it for really cheap as well. You should get yourself down there. You know, if you're really looking for some stuff, go on. Go down to home bargains. But still. It comes all the way from Australia. It really does. It comes from Bundaberg Brew Drinks. Yeah, at least I don't know where Bund Bundaberg, I guess, and it's a place in Australia? I don't know. But it's a family owned business, it looks like. But maybe they do blood oranges in Australia? You know, I don't, I don't know. I've seen blood orange Fanta before. Uh, I think it was like a Halloween special. Because like, it's supposed to sound scary. You know, blood orange. But it's not really, is it? Uh, but yeah, Fanta did like. I've never actually tasted it. It's the first time I've actually really tasted blood orange. Um, Really, it's, a, it's actually a little bit different from normal oranges. It's a bit more sour and a bit more kind of, you know what I mean, probably zestier. A bit better, I would say, to be honest, than regular old... I would, I'd probably say this is better than Fanta's version because uh, Fanta is not really... So this looks like... It looks quite luxury, to be honest. But, <laughs> I mean, it looks luxury. It looks like a proper luxury thing, but it really ain't. It's just... It was 49p from home bargain, it's not... <laughs> But, yeah, nonetheless, I would recommend this product if you're really interested in trying new stuff. And, um, yeah, it's very nice and light. But, if you like, you're Australian, good day, mate. If you are, you know, if you want some new stuff, go down to Home Bargains, that's all I'm going to say.